Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of geometry. Specifically we're looking at classifying two dimensional shapes. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. Let's see how we can use the attributes of various shapes to put them into groups and even smaller groups. Let's start with our largest group of two dimensional shapes and that's polygons. Polygons are two-dimensional shapes that are closed and have straight sides. So for example, if I were to draw a circle, that would not be a polygon. So I'm going to put it outside this shape because it is closed, but it does not have straight sides. Also, if I were to draw a shape like this, which looks kind of like a triangle, but I didn't quite finish it, that is also not a polygon. So I'm going to keep it outside this shape because it is not closed. Within polygons is a smaller group of shapes called quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons that have four sides. So if I wanted to draw an example of something that was not a quadrilateral, I could draw a triangle out here because that has three sides. Or I could draw a hexagon out here that has six sides. But anything inside this inner shape is going to have to have four sides. So an example of a quadrilateral is a trapezoid you see right here. It has four sides and one set of those sides, in this case the top and the bottom, are parallel. But there is a special kind of quadrilateral that has two sets of parallel sides and those are called parallelograms. So you see we have an example of a parallelogram here. It has two sets of parallel sides. In this case the top is parallel with the bottom and the two diagonal sides are parallel with each other. But even then we have more special types of parallelograms. These types of special parallelograms are rectangles and rhombuses. Rectangles are parallelograms that have four right angles. So you see these four corners right here. These are square corners and that's what makes a shape a rectangle. A rhombus on the other hand has four equal sides. Some of you might think of this as a diamond, but really a rhombus is a parallelogram that has four sides that are the exact same length. But hopefully you notice there is a space missing in the middle. This is the most special shape of all of the types of 2D shapes we'll be looking at today. It is the square. Squares are special because they are a mixture of both a rectangle and a rhombus. Remember that rectangles are parallelograms that have four right angles. Well, a square is a parallelogram that has four right angles. See the four square corners here. But it also is a rhombus. A rhombus, remember, is a parallelogram that has four equal sides. A square also has four equal sides. So it is a mixture of a rectangle and a rhombus. As each of these shapes are within smaller areas, they not only maintain the attributes of the small area that they're in, but also any of the larger areas that they are nested within. So let's take a look at, for example, a square. A square is a rectangle because it has four right angles, and a square is also rhombus because it has four equal sides. But you see the square is also in this larger circle of a parallelogram. So a square also is a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel sides. But even parallelograms are within the larger circle of quadrilaterals. So a square is not only a rectangle and a rhombus and a parallelogram, it is also a quadrilateral because it has four sides and it is also a polygon because it is closed and has straight sides. Now it's time for you to see if you can answer a few questions about different ways to classify two-dimensional shapes. Use this diagram to answer these four questions in the top left hand corner. When you have your answers, go ahead and unpause the video and check your work. 1. Are all rectangles rhombuses? No. There's quite a bit of this rectangle area that does not overlap with the rhombus area. 2. Are all parallelograms polygons? Well, parallelograms are right here and they're within the much larger circle of polygons, so yes. 3. Is a rectangle a parallelogram? Well, here's my rectangle circle, and it is within the larger circle of parallelograms. So the answer is yes. And then finally, is a trapezoid a quadrilateral? Remember, this is my trapezoid right here, and it does have four sides, so it is yes, a quadrilateral. <laughs> 